Hey guys, what is going on? You're gonna aka Fat Boy from Zergrino Sports here, and today we are back with some more FIFA 15 AC Milan career mode. Uh, today we will be having, uh, let's see, we'll be having three episodes, and then I'll probably do the first five days of the transfer window and try and get something done in those, and then in the next episode we'll have uh, the next three games, and then after that we'll just have the rest of the window, the two games, and then the rest of the window and then we'll go back to our four games and episodes uh, schedule but yeah so today we'll have three games and then actually you know what I might as well play the Sassuolo game as well so we'll do three game we'll do four games in some of the transfer window and then we'll we'll continue with the four and episode thing so uh, let's get right into this Genoa game all right so here we are in the uh, game against Genoa away to Genoa I should say. Uh, if I sound a bit weird, it's because I'm sick while I'm recording this a little bit, so uh, try and ignore that, I guess. Um, yeah, hopefully we can win this game. Uh, we, uh, I changed the squad a little bit. Is that Clint Dempsey? That is Clint Dempsey. I remember they paid like 20 million for him or something like stupid like that. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we have a decent squad up today. Uh, I made some changes. First, we'll look at their squad. Let's take a look at it. Four at the back. Antonini at right back. De Mayo and Ancoglia. Perrin in goal, who's really good. Galati, never heard of him. Good midfield and a good front three, actually. Um, so that's not bad. Uh, but I think our squad edges it, uh, as you'll be able to see it here. Uh, Diego Lopez in goal, as usual. Abate. Uh, Bocchetti's come in. Van Ginkel's come in. And Suso's come in. Those are the three changes I made. Uh, I also brought Pitania onto the bench in place of Pizzini. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's try and get a win here. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, he hits the post. Oh. Oh, get that out. Oh, good ball by Van Ginkel. To Menez. Oh, Ronaldo chops inside. Finesse. Oh, cleared. Cleared off blonde. Play Suso through. Suso cuts in. Good ball to Destro. Oh, what a save, Perrin. Oh, my lord. Oh, what a save. Alberto Costa. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, my lord. Thank God he missed that. But what a bad miss. Oh, Patania does the defense. Patania! Patania! Oh! Goal! Yes! Patania! Yes! Destro wasn't cutting it for me. He wasn't getting into that many good positions. Um, except for the shot where Perrin pulled off an amazing save. So I decided to bring Patania on. And he comes on. He changes the game. Gets through their whole defense. And just slots it past Perrin. Yes. Oh, that's what we needed. Thank God. Patania is a motherfucking beast. Alright guys, that's how the game ends. 1-0, good victory. Uh, we were on top of them for pretty much the whole game. Uh, yeah, good win. Let's get into the next match. <coughs> Alright guys, so... <coughs> excuse me, here we are um, against Napoli here, at home to Napoli. Um, we have our full strongest lineup. Um, and when I say strongest lineup, I mean Rami instead of Alex because Rami's been playing well since I brought him into the squad. So he's part of the starting lineup now. So we have our full starting lineup on the bench. Uh, the only change on the bench is that I brought in Poli instead of Tielman's on the bench to have someone a bit more experienced in case someone needs to come on. And to have uh, and I have Patania on instead of Pazzini for the sole reason that Patania has four goals in five games with like four of those appearances being substitute appearances or all five being substitute appearances i don't think i've started Pitania, so he has a really good record right now really good form for him so that's that <clears throat> so yeah here's the lineup strongest squad we have available uh it's a pretty strong squad which i'm happy about so yeah that's good and then uh 
We'll take a look at Napoli's squad in a second here. All right, let's take a look at that. Insigne is on the bench. Those, uh, Duvan Zapata is on the bench. That's a very strong lineup. Uh, I would personally switch Callejon and Mertens. Um, Gargano is probably the weak, uh, weak link in midfield. Uh, their defense is decent. Maggio might be a bit easy to get past. Uh, but other than that, they they have a pretty good defense. So uh, let's hope we can um, let's hope we can get a win in this big match. Menez fouled. What? Oh, no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Get that shit out of here! You're telling me that's not a foul. You're telling me that this right here is not a foul. Fuck off! It's not what I wanted. Dion, get back. Help out. No, 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 no! <sighs> Fuck. Right before halftime, too. Shit. Yes, we're on. Into Patania. Play it back through. We're on! We're on! Yes! Get the ball, 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 get back. We can still win this. 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 Oh, Menez! 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 Please! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Oh, 2-1, the comeback king. Woo! Yes! Oh, we're back in the lead, thank God. Oh, I win! <laughs> yes! Yes, mate, yes! Oh, what a comeback, Veron. Patania is a game changer, man. Every time he comes on, he just he makes something happen, and it's it's great. It's amazing. All right, guys, here we are in the match away to Roma uh, after uh, after a very dramatic comeback victory against Napoli. There, there you can see the table. We're still in first by six points it looks like and we're still undefeated um which is good um yeah I'm, I'm just i'm still happy about the comeback win uh but uh here we'll take a look at the lineups here soon um once once they're done shaking their hands i, I did make a couple changes to the squad uh which you'll see in a little bit but yeah very good uh very good result against napoli uh, shows that we can win even when we don't play the best of games, which is uh, a quality that teams who want to win the championship need to have. Here we can take a we take a look at Roma's squad. There, uh, very good squad. Dumbia and Gervinho will cause a lot of problems. If they had Ibarbo, sweatiest team in the world. Great midfield, great defense. They have a very very strong squad. Uh, and here you can take a look at my squad. Uh, I did make a few changes. I took out Abate, put Deshilio in at right back, and put Antonelli at left back because Abate didn't play well last game. I decided to give Alex a run. Suso and Pazzini come in for Destro and Cherchi because they have been underperforming. And Patania is back on the bench. Let's, uh, let's try and get a win. Oh... Uh, Pazzini plays Menez through. Menez shoots. Oh, it's in! Ha <laughs> ha! 1-0. Tenth minute. Former Roma man. I didn't mean to celebrate. I didn't press anything. He just celebrated by himself. Um, I don't know how to do the sorry for scoring celebration, or else I would have, as Menez used to play for Roma. But, uh... Good, uh, good, uh, good football leading up to that. I wasn't talking, but I'll probably include it. It was, it was some nice one-touch football going on. And then Pazzini just plays Menez through, and he just, uh, beats... Who is that? I can't read their name. Ch Kirchi, or Searchy, or whatever, however you pronounce it, beats him at, uh, near post. One now. Daniele De Rossi. Right over 
Oh shit. Oh, it's offside. Oh, thank God. Oh, it's offside. Whew. It's good for us. Good for us. Alright guys, so that's how the game ends. 1-0 uh, away from home to Roma, which is a very good result because they have a very strong squad. And it should have been more, uh, depend like looking at the chances we had, but uh, good result. So let's get into the transfer window and then play Sassuolo and then I'll be there in the other episode. Alright guys, so here we are in the transfer window. There you can see we have 31 million to spend with 256,000 on wages. Uh, so we're going to try and make a few moves here. Um, the first move I'm going to try and make is for Marco Verratti. I'm going to offer up uh, between 24 and 35, right. So how much is he worth 10? How about him and 12, 15? We'll do De Jong and 15 for Verratti. We'll try that. And then I'm going to try... I'm going to try just Zaccard, though, for Bellerin. I'm going to try just as a card, though, for Mankio. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I'll probably have to pay more money for Mankio, but who cares. And uh, Darmion, who I would be using as a right back, uh, we'll do him and let's do four million. See if that, if they'll accept that. Um... And then the next target is I'm going to offer up, uh, let's see, so he just got pur purchased for six and a half, whereas uh, Pazzini, we'll do Pazzini and two million. Alright, I'll probably hold out for Darmion then. Alright, they want 24 million, they, not enough, they accepted, they accepted, that's very good, we'll do five and we'll do squad rotation. All right, that's very good. Um, we'll uh, we'll offer you five point five. How about that? And for Verratti, I'll offer. Uh, they want twenty four. I'll give you twenty, like even. How about that? Uh, all right. Damn it, Napoli are in for. Okay, El Shirale, nothing. I'm not taking anything for him. I don't give a shit. I like El Shirale. He's not leaving. Uh, Suso wants to play, whatever, I don't care. Um, Alright, well, hopefully hopefully they accept my offer. And uh, Bellerin, I'll just keep that there in case the Darmion deal doesn't go through. Let's get into this game against Sassuolo. Alright, guys, so here we are in the home match against Sassuolo. Um... We're in the middle of the Jan we're we've just started the January transfer window. We've had one offer accepted. Uh, we've had um, an offer. We've gotten a counter offer for Verratti, and then we've made a second offer for Darmian at the moment. Uh, I decided for this game, which you, you'll see in a second here, um, for this game I decided to switch up the squad a lot. Uh, there is not a single starting eleven player in this squad. Um, so, you know, that's that. Uh, I decided that, you know, Sassuolo, uh, no disrespect, is a weaker team, at least in the game. In real life, they can be pretty good. But in the team, in in um, in the game, they're a pretty weak team. So I'm like, hey, I'm going to give some players some chances. Um, I'm playing with Zicardo for one last time. I'm giving Abiati a run. Uh, Munoz is playing. Uh, we got Petania starting his first game. Bonaventura is in there. Tielman's and Poli with Honda. So we have our full backup squad pretty much. So hopefully we can uh, we can do well with that. Uh, and here we take a look at their squad. Uh, Flora Flores up front, not that big of a you know threat. Berardi and Sansone will be. Uh, Tider will be. Acerbi and Antai will probably be their will probably be pretty decent for them. I don't know where Zaza is. Maybe they sold him, but uh, if they did, then I won't have that much of a problem defending against them as Flora Flores isn't that great. But then again, I do have my, like, complete backup squad, right? So. All right, let's, uh, let's try and get a good result. Oh, my God. It hit. What the f- What?! Ab Abiati, Abiati, Ab 
Abiati. 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 What are you doing? Abiati. Wow, man, that's some bullshit. Fucking hell. Doing shit like that, you're definitely not getting a freaking contract extension. I just hit the post. Damn it. Alright, Suso. Suso, start us off well, please. Suso. Suso. Su oh, the heavy touch. Oh. Oh, good ball. Yes. Oh, ho, ho. Consigli can't keep that one out. Pitania with a goal. Leveling the score. Menez just cuts it back. Nice back heel through Consigli's legs with the outside of the foot. 1-0. I mean 1-1. One, one. Alright guys, so that's how the game ends. 1-1. One, one. We couldn't uh, we couldn't get the winner, but uh, we did uh, we did keep our undefeated streak alive. Alright guys, so uh, Zivkovic has accepted his contract, which puts our wages up through the roof. And now we have a uh, backup striker who I won't... Uh... Alright, they accepted 7 million for Darmian. Would be under cent? Yeah. All right, they accepted seven. Uh, five point five plus how much is he worth? One point five. That's seven. Five point six. That's more. That's more. That is a better value. You better accept that shit. You better accept it. Uh, but yeah, we have Zivkovic in the team now. Uh, Dashilio wants more money. They, all right. So PSG have emailed us back, and they still only they still will not accept anything below 24. So I will offer 24, and because uh, I really want Verratti, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna offer up 24, and uh, just in case the uh, offer for um, uh, Darmian doesn't go through, I'm gonna offer up one million plus Zicard though for Bellerin. Alright, so, Darmian has joined Napoli, so we can't do that. Dechilio rejects his contract, so that's, that's fucking fan diddly fucktastic. Uh, I'll offer him a new one. I'll offer him a hundred, I guess. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, that'll be it for this episode, as I have the game against Torino. Uh, right there. Um, after I play the game against Torino, if I come up against a weaker squad at home, I'll probably be simming some games. Like, the game at home to Parma and at home to Empoli, I'll probably be simming those games. And even Chizena, actually. Like, these three are simmable games. I probably won't sim every game, because then it'll be boring. But, um, like... Yeah, so weaker squads like Hellas Verona at home, I'll be simming and like, yeah. So when that when the time comes, I'll be doing that. But uh, I just wanted to play against every team once so you could see what it's like first. But anyways, uh, that's the end of the episode. No squad report at the end of this one because I am uh, I'm gonna do one at the end of the transfer window once we get all of our signings in that I want to get in. So uh, I'm waiting for that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. My name is Jurgen AK Fat Boy. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time out of day to watch my video, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.